The Cowboys now hit their bye week at 4-2, and two, but face upcoming games against the Rams at home. Then they go to Philadelphia. They do play the fourth hardest remaining schedule. So, Mr. Johnson, project their final record. Do you still lean toward them missing the playoffs? Uh, I mean, I, I give them a, a 60% chance of making the playoffs. Making, okay. So, 40% chance of missing based on them beating the Chargers last night. But you just mentioned fourth hardest remaining schedule. Yep. So when you look at the schedule, the Rams could be, it goes either way for me as far as the Rams go. I'm picking Philadelphia in Philadelphia. I think they that they win against the Giants of Carolina. I'm not so sure about Washington in the remaining Seattles, the Philadelphia's, Buffalo's, Miami's, Detroit's. So when you start to look at it and you break down that schedule, yeah, these next couple games after the bye, the Rams could go either way. I lean more toward Dallas than the Rams, but it could go either way. I don't lean toward anything against the Giants. You obviously start to play a weaker opponent in Carolina. I don't know about Washington. You know, so then you get into the meat of the schedule. So when you start talking about the fourth hardest schedule, they're talking about what's left when you get to Seattle, Philly, Buffalo, Miami, Detroit. That's where that hard part of that stretch comes. Can you compile enough victories to get into the bottom half of the playoffs? Mm -hmm. Probably, maybe, but it's not going to be. You're not going to be a, a, a team that stays at and goes 15-2. and two. You're not going to be that. You know, you'll be a 9-10 win type team mm. getting into the playoffs. Okay. That's, that's what I see. So if I'm sticking with your logic here, I think you, you have them for about six more losses, it sounds like. I, I got them for at least five. Okay. I got them for so at least five. You're starting to love the commanders, right? No, well, I just think they play hard and it's a divisional rival. Okay. And I think they play hard. It's okay. not that I love them. They just okay. play hard. And I know how Dallas can be against Washington. Okay. They can split in so any given year. Six more losses, nine and eight, would that squeeze into the backside of the might, They might get to the 10 and seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. the NFC's not yeah. strong this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. 10 and seven to help mm -hmm. them. Okay, go, Richard. Yeah, I, Skip, Skip, I got to make it to playoffs. 10% chance they miss it. Uh, you know, I said this last week. Uh, you know, I, those again, those divisional games against Washington can get kind of muddy. Uh, Washington can play. They can Jekyll and Hyde it. They can play well sometimes. They cannot play as well sometimes. They just m benched their first-round pick, uh, Emmanuel Forbes, uh, and, and, you know, played a decent game. But I, I don't see you guys beating a lot of the heavyweights. I, I, I have a hard time seeing you guys beating Buffalo, beating Miami, uh, you know, beating the Seahawks. I, I'll be at that game, prime video. I'll be there. I'll be there in person in Dallas. Happy, happy to pick the Seahawks in that game. The Eagles, you know, maybe you maybe you split with them. If you don't split with them, it'll be even tougher. So if you say you're six and three going into the Commanders game or going into the Seahawks game, I say you lose that game. You're you're six and four. You lose to Philly. You're six and five. You're on a two game losing streak going to Buffalo. Skip. You're six and six going going to Miami, Miami six and after seven. Buffalo. You're you six and seven. Come home for Detroit. You got you got a tough you got a tough Detroit team. Thanksgiving, I think. Eight. Is that thing? No, 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 that's, no. That's, that's it's, not Thanksgiving. It, it's Washington. It's but, Thanksgiving. But, okay, so but you six got six and eight. Okay, six and eight. And, I think and, you and, skipped and, a game and, in there, but because we, we don't have as many, we don't have enough games. But you still right, love right, the, right, right, the right, Jekyll I, and Hyde. So I, the Jekyll and Hyde's could beat us. We could go six and nine. I think. No, I got I got you guys winning at the end. Yeah. I still, I think you guys can go ten and seven. Um, but it, your seating, because I want I want to be able to do my dance and sing my song, you know, divisional done. I can't do that if y'all go home in a wild card. But if you get the Eagles or 49ers or Detroit in the wild card, I'm not going to be able to do my dance, Skip. Okay, but you, you keep making the, the case they're going to miss the playoffs. You make the case that they're looking more like 7-10 and 10 than 10-7. 10 and 7. You made the case no, after San Francisco. You said they got exposed. There are fatal flaws. They can't do this. 100%. They can't do that. Okay? And you said. That doesn't mean they're not a, they're not a playoff team. Minnesota was, was clearly flawed, and they made the playoffs and went home in the first round. Okay. They, just because you're flawed doesn't mean you can't make the playoffs. It means you're not a Super Bowl team. Okay, yeah? but you, and they're you, not. you called the two teams that played on Monday Night Football last night lightweights, right? So how can yeah, a lightweight light, make light the playoffs, right? Oh, light, light heavyweights. heavyweights. The way Minnesota did last year, light the way the Giants did last year, I mean, it happens all the time, Skip. Okay. Seven, so, seven teams go to the playoffs. 
Okay. Yeah. I, I hear a lot of speaking out of both sides of mouth. They're no good, but they're going to make the playoffs. I, yeah, I don't but get just because you make the playoffs don't make you good, Skip. Come on now. Well, well, it, teams it, make the playoffs by default. Okay. We've watched teams. You've seen it where we've watched teams get into the playoffs when it was a 16-game schedule yeah. under 500. Okay. That doesn't All that right. doesn't make them good. Okay. So you're In both your saying division. they're going to be a no good playoff team that will be, as Richard says, one and out, divisional and done, right? Well, that's the his history shows that they've been a playoff team in the past, Skip, but they haven't advanced. And that means okay, they, well, they, last year they advanced. They beat advanced Tom Brady. To they ended it for You Tom advanced Brady. to what? Okay, we went to San Francisco, and that's we held them to 19 event. points. We held the, them to 19. The, we should have won the game. The way that we look that at advancing. That was a moral victory, Skip. Mm. The Not way that we look at advancing yeah. is when you play in the conference final. Yeah. That's advancing. Okay. Playing in a wild card game, then going on the road, and then going home is not advancing. We effectively, advancing is Philadelphia and San Francisco. We effectively did play in the NFC Championship game last year. It was just a round earlier in San Francisco because <laughs> we were better than Philadelphia. What are you talking about? We had just hold scored 40 hold points on Philadelphia. You, we were better than the hold Eagles. On, hold on. We're better. Key, we're better. Skip, man, Key. stop. We scored Key. 40. This is what delusion sounds like. This is what delusion sounds like. We scored 40. Skip. This is delusion. You're saying we effectively, you beat an under 500 Bucks team that, that, that made the playoffs by default because their division, nobody was over 500. They won so their division. They, they, they won it yeah. because they, they were the best of the worst division in football. And Who? we beat them Tom at their was, place, was, and it was Brady's Congratulations. Song. Yep. It was four, that, five, so, four versus so, five, and if they change the seating, you guys are in a different spot. You're playing a better team. But what okay. I'm saying, Skip, is if you're saying, hey – we, we, we held them to 19 points. That was our victory. Skip, that's your problem. Your okay. moral victory doesn't wait get you to the NFC wait, Championship wait, 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 wait a second. Who was the best team in the NFC last year? Seriously, who was it? It was the 49ers. It was the two teams that played no, in the NFC No, it was not. It was not. Brock okay. Purdy went down in the first season. That, that's not, but that's not the Eagles' fault. Okay, but the, that, they that, were that, better. Stay healthy. They were going to win that game. They were, they were going to win, win the game, game when the dude got hurt the first quarter. You just automatically just could assume They're better that than they were. The Eagles. Because They're of better. what they did to the Cowboys, made it better than the Eagles based on a game at the end of the season when I've already essentially clinched my faith and I'm the Eagles, I'm not going to yeah. play my quarterback, and I'm going to let the Cowboys do whatever. Now, all of a sudden, they're better than the team that went to the Super Bowl. Absolutely. Stop it, man. Start it. I mean, if my quarterback the, hadn't thrown two first-half interceptions at San Francisco in the playoff game last year, if he hadn't missed yeah. five throws in the if, second half. And if I would have played game. cornerback mm -hmm. in safety in 1965, yeah. it, I, would be, I wouldn't have been a receiver. Stop with okay. the ifs. It's, well, it's, maybe you would have been a better safety. Stop, I don't know. Stop the ifs <laughs> and, and stop it's with the regular it. season championships. Yes. That's your problem. You're All celebrating right. regular season games too much. Okay. Now, but let me clear this up for you, though, Skip. What, let me, let me be clear what? about I, I, where I see the Cowboys. Yeah, it's real murky. How so, you no, I'm going to clear it up yeah, for you because yeah. as I started because looking. Because you're scared to death of them. I'm not scared to death of you. Go. I got them. They, I got them beating the Rams. I'm just gonna clear it up. I got them losing to the Philly, mm -hmm. beating Washington, Carolina, Washington again. So they'll go on a nice three-game win streak. Mm -hmm. I got them losing to Seattle, right. losing at home to Seattle. I got them losing to okay. Seattle. I got them beating Philadelphia at home, losing to Buffalo on the road, losing yeah. to Miami on mm -hmm. the road, losing to Detroit losing at home, to and Detroit beating home. Washington. Okay. That'll give you 10-7, and seven, okay. and you might and squeak seven. in. Okay. Right here, right now, I would like to go back on record. I've got a dinner bet on the Seattle game at Jerry World. Richard will be there. Mm -hmm. I got a dinner yep. bet with Richard on that. Would you like to make it no, another I'm not dinner? No, I got to pay off my first couple bets with first you. Couple. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to let you keep getting fat okay. on me. I, we will beat the Seattle Seahawks. But I got to go back to the top of my schedule now because next up are those L.A. Rams. Cooper Cup is back. He is He's unguardable. He, he's uncoverable. I, I've never seen anything like it. And he looks like he's back to full speed. So they become very dangerous. The early point spread on that game is about seven. Dallas by seven points. So I, I kept telling you guys last week, Dallas was a two-and-a-half-point favorite at Chargers. And you guys say, the Chargers are going to win this game. And I said, well, the odds makers are trying to tell you Dallas is just better than the Chargers. And Dallas showed you last night. 
I think they're clearly better than the Chargers. They're better than the Rams. Clearly, because they won yeah. by three? Okay, but I'm, I told you they didn't play all that well, and they left a bunch and of the points. the Chargers didn't play okay, well. But they left so many points on the table. My team did. We're so going to talk the about that. Okay. So did the Chargers. All right, so the Rams are 3-3 three and three as we speak. You realize my team has won 10 straight games at home. You want to talk about home? We, we didn't used to have home field advantage in Jerry World because it used to be America's stage where everybody went there to play Final Fours and to box and to put on concerts. They still do that. No, well, they still do that, but we own that stage now because we've won 10 in a row and we will beat the Rams at home. I'm going to give you at Eagles. I, I would have, if, if I had Trevon Diggs, I'd say we'd win that game because I thought we could beat him twice. But I'll say, okay, you got me on that one. I'll give you Eagles. But then we go on a run because we got Giants at home. We go to the Panthers. We'll win that game. We got Commanders on Thanksgiving. You're, you're not, we're not going to lose to our arch rivals on Thanksgiving. We're just not going to lose that game. We are not going to lose to the Seahawks. I respect Geno. I respect Richard. I'll give you this. They have the single best road win so far in the entire NFC to me is the game you, you, they want. Seattle went to Detroit and beat them very quietly, but they did that. In and I Seattle, give you that. In Seattle with they, Walker and Charbonnet mm-hmm. is a is going to try to run it down your they throat. Will. Just so that okay, you know that's good. your weakness. And, and, okay. That's it, our weakness, yet it wasn't our weakness go, last night or against Belichick. Go ahead, go ahead, skip. Okay. Go. So here we go. We will beat Seattle and then here come Philadelphia. We will beat them at home. I guarantee it. Then I'll I'll give you, you hey you want to put a dinner bet on that? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of dinner yeah. Okay, we you go. got it. Thank I'll you. Take I'll take that one. Thank you. Okay, back to back. All right, <laughs> here we go. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I I'm going to have to tell Ernestine, you you don't need to get me any more dinner. I'll just go out Ernestine with you guys. Ernestine gonna be night, like, oh. right? Okay, good. <laughs> go. But I'll give you at Buffalo in the cold. We we probably won't win that game. Although that team is fl- more flawed than you think it is. Would I be shocked oh, if we were up there? They're, they're definitely flawed. Okay. The Dolphins, I'll give you that. We go down in the heat. You show yeah. giving a lot. No, I, I give you those two and the one at Philadelphia, and that's it. We so, will so beat the Lions at be, home. You'll beat Detroit. We're, we're going to beat you Detroit at home. That. And we will you go to the that. Commanders to end it, especially if we need so you, to end So you're going to win 11 and 12. 12. 12, 12. and 5, says me. Wow. 12 and 5. Okay. We're perfectly <laughs> positioned. 12 and 5. Will it win the division? I, I don't know. I'm not sure what Philly's going to do. It could. It could. Then we'd get a home playoff game instead of having to go somewhere. Okay. Yeah, uh, somebody if, would come beat y'all. If, if you, like, if like, you yeah, think you're 12 and 5, then yeah. if you like it, I love it. Yeah. So if we've won well, 10 well, in a row it. right now, if, if I'm correct about this, we're going to go 11, then we're going to go 12, then we're going to go 13, 14, 15, 16. We're going to have won 16 straight games at home if, in fact, we get a home playoff game. And if we do... It'll be 17 straight at home. I, there you I go. I love the ifs. I love the ifs, Skiff. No, no, I'm, I'm I, over I, here just, just getting ready. I, 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 I don't understand, understand what you saw last because night that gave you the hope that you're going to Firepower. Win. I saw firepower. Firepower where? Yeah. 20 weeks worth of it. Where? CeeDee Lamb is a flat-out beast. He, he is just a stud. <laughs> if, they, if they would just throw the football, they, they threw him seven balls and he caught all seven of them. We're going to talk about him yeah. in just a few minutes. How about but, this? He How is a clear-cut number one. If, if C.D. Lamb has a D.J. Moore-like game against the Commanders, I'll give him true number one. D.J. Moore had, what, 10 for 230 against your Commanders? Yeah. With Justin Fields at quarterback, and, and you, you, you don't sit here and try to say you feel like Justin Fields is better than Dak Prescott. Justin Fields threw it to D.J. Moore. He had 230. I was there. It was I was there in person. Saw it with my own eyes. I got so if it. he has one of those games against okay, Commanders, but, but, I'd but, give you one. Okay, but C.D. isn't a D.J. Moore type receiver. He's a possession I, receiver. He's a run after but, catch receiver. He's a third and eight what receiver. Is D.J. Moore? He's more like Keyshawn was. Just, no. Just, yeah. No. yeah throw what the are we talking about? Have you it. ever seen DJ I will Moore? go up and snatch it. No, man. Yeah. DJ Moore. No. DJ Moore is really good, and so is CD Lamb. <laughs> okay, but DJ can fly, man. I loved him coming out of Maryland. He, okay, so I, I give you that. But I got firepower. CD Lamb, the ball. Lamb is really good. There's no question about it. No Thank one is you. saying he's not good. But you are putting right. him at a level that's going to ignite your passing game all of a sudden. Yeah. No, I just don't. I don't it see did last him. Night. At least I don't they see fed him, him like that, though. Oh, he he will. I think he he, will. he makes a lot of great uncontested catches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, he does some stuff, mm-hmm. but I don't see him as like you just mentioned. 
third and eight, the whole building knows he's going to get it, and all of a sudden he cashes in. Mm. I just don't see him like that. Mm. Boy, I do, and I've seen him that way for the last three years. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.